Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking for lunch an easy meatball recipe. So let's begin. Right, so I've got my frying pan here. I've turned the heat up to medium high, number seven. I've added a bit of olive oil just to cover the base. And we'll wait for that to heat up slightly. slightly. And by the way, um, they will be accompanied with some Galician style boiled potatoes. Okay, so once the oil is getting hot, slightly hot, I don't want it to be sizzling, I'm going to add the meatballs in. And by the way, I'll leave a link in the description to how I make my own meatballs, batch make them, and freeze them. And also a link to my Galician style boiled potatoes. Okay, so these are in, and basically, I just want to seal them up. Once the meatballs are sealed all round, I'll take them out and put them on this bowl for a minute. And with this same oil, I'll add the onion, garlic and red pepper. I haven't put any measurements because basically you can add as much or as less as you like. I think it's pointless putting 50 grams of pepper, 2 tablespoons of salt. Everyone uses how much they like. Don't you agree? And this, I'm going to soften it all up. Gently, slightly brown it. So, once everything is starting to brown off, what I shall do is sprinkle in some sweet paprika. Remember, as much or as less as you like. Well, I wouldn't put more than one teaspoon in. I'm going to add some sprinkle of thyme also, about half a teaspoon. Some black pepper. And I'll chuck in some bay leaves. These are tiny, so I'll put in four little ones. And I'll add in the meatballs and whatever juice there's in this bowl. And I've got my broth here. This one has got chicken, veal and loads of vegetables. And with this one I won't need any salt. But have a taste check once it starts bubbling to see if, it, if yours does need any salt. So we'll mix this about. And we'll cover it up and leave it there for 20 minutes. Well, 20 minutes are up, so what I'll do next is add the peas in. I'm using about a couple of cups of peas, frozen peas. and we'll give them a move about we'll cover them cover it back up again 
I'll leave it there for 15 minutes. Well, so time is up. And this is looking delicious. The sauce has thickened up nicely. So I'll turn the stove off and just leave it there to slightly cool down for about five minutes. And then we'll serve it up. So here is today's delicious recipe. I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. Please give me a like if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I look forward to doing my next video for you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.